Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for your weeklies for November 8th to the 14th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my darlings, if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And also, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel, JWZ Mysteries. All the information is in the description box below. I'm just going to light this candle real quick here, guys. All right, here we go. All right. So we're going to be looking at your day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's going to have my Capricorns romantic love life for November 8th to the 14th? Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so... I specifically timed this date here actually for the lunar eclipse coming up, guys. So let's see how it's going to play out in your reading. Oh, wow. So we can already see that there is somebody who is trying to flirt with you, Capricorn. Um, could be a potential uh, passionate situation coming in for you guys. Some of you guys are going to receive some kind of passionate messages because pages can represent messages. Somebody is looking to explore some new things here with the Page of Wands energy. Okay, so also they could be a younger sign or a younger individual. Doesn't, doesn't mean that's the case. They could just be coming off that way, okay? They could just have a younger spirit too. All right, so, oh my goodness, you guys got the tower card. Okay, so potential signs I see this week is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And this is their love interest feelings, okay? This is the blockage this week. Okay, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now there could be, uh, this could be you, or it could be another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. We see the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and again, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming out here. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So at the bottom of the deck, I'm overwhelmed with everything. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. I have a, a sense I want to contemplate how I feel about this. I need to make some kind of decision. There's an air of mystery. Um, there's some kind of spiritual signs, spiritual messages. I need to listen to my intuition. I really want to argue and fight about this sense of control here and speak my truth. But I'm hopeful um, that I can take some time to really make uh, an analysis on this action. Okay, so let's use the gypsy today. For clarification first of all I want to find out why the king of Pentacles is here as the blockage so why is the king of Pentacles here for the blockage why is the king of Pentacles here for the blockage why is the king of Pentacles here for the blockage show me the cards I need to see show me the cards I need to see okay so someone is interested in talking with you, they're interested in, you know, uh, blowing you kisses, unconditional love, falling in love. There's some some issues around, or not issues, but there is some a situation where someone's like really feeling you. Okay, they're trying to have a conversation with you, but you're trying to make healthy choices, and uh, you're dealing with some kind of separation here, and you're trying to protect your heart, and uh, you're looking to the past. Okay. This person has feelings for you, and you're focused on your stability and stableness here and uh, ascending a past your situation. So there's someone is digging you. Okay, digging you. <laughs> someone really likes you a lot, and uh, they're really interested in you. Mm -hmm. Okay, obviously Spirit wants you to see this. Okay, a friend or someone you view as a friend is interested in being with you. Okay, thank you. And they're hopeful. Well, that's very clear cut. Your, your spirit guide is coming in clear today, <laughs> um, Capricorn. Okay, so what's gonna have my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we see this 
passionate situation. I want to hold on to. I want things to go forward fast. All right, Eight of Cups energy. Eight of Wands, excuse me. That's our messages card. There's a very strong attraction here, and it's a new person, and they want to spend some alone time with you. Okay, okay. So what's going to happen with my Capricorn Germantic love life for November 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we see, yes, I want to spend some time with you. Oh, man. You guys are still coming off, as we saw, you guys are still coming off of a, a, a separation. You were separated from someone, but you have this new love connection coming in. Some of you guys are really confused about what to do here with the Seven of Cups energy. Um, definitely, there is a person who wants, there's giving their energy to you here with the gift card energy, or they have a strong appreciation for you, and they want an opportunity to be with you. You are very shocked and surprised. It's very, it's taking you by surprise here with the Tower card energy. So there's shocking surprise here on the 12th. Okay. Um, I feel like um, it's passionate in nature, guys, okay? <laughs> because this person's trying to make a power move, all right? So we see you're shocked and surprised, but when I see this person that's next to the King of Wands, I can tell you that there's something passionate going on here, okay, on the 12th. Because this person's going to try to assert themselves and make a power move. And what, in what way? Well, we got the King of Wands energy. There's going to be this huge breakthrough about this strong chemistry and passion with this King of Wands energy. But we see that there could be an infringing party or self-doubt or some kind of jealousy going on here. And so you're kind of like, well, I should just wait to see how things are going to play out here. And then we see this Four of Wands energy, which talks about a marriage, a happy home, a solid foundation here and concerns about being used or something being very transactional or some of you guys are really focused on work coming up uh, for that day on the 14th and you're concerned about making any abrupt decisions. So what I feel like is going on, you guys have separated from someone or you know you had just broken up with someone, okay? Or it was this person and um, they're coming forward. This person's coming forward very strong. Uh, they're offering love and affection and passion, okay? And there's this opportunity here but however, possibly some of you guys are really focused on work, really focused on a stable situation. You're concerned that, well, I don't want this to just be like, you know, fly of night kind of situation. I want this to be a little bit more serious, you know, and this person's moving a little bit too fast for me. So we see that the Eight of Pentacles here, the Five of Pentacles here, and the Hermit card energy is this, your love connection, whoever your love connection is. Your love connection feels like they, really are doing some examination about the details of the situation, okay? And about this loss. And they're really thinking about the connection very deeply. Your love interest is looking at the past memories, maybe even getting some advice from someone, and feeling trapped in their thoughts because they do still want to be with you, okay? If you guys are separated or not together, they still want to be with you. Your person wants to make the effort to reconcile, what did I say? when the timing is right, okay? So obviously you guys are in separation from this person, okay? So King of Pentacles is saying, all right, maybe also some of you guys, the reason why the blockage is here is because you still want to get back with the other person, okay? King of Pentacles also for me could speak of the fact that you're like, I need to be in a stable position. You're still having a lot of pain and sorrow here and you're wanting to delay some things. So we see that you have this opportunity coming in, Ace of Wands energy, Ace of Swords energy. And um, this person's giving you clarity, revealing some truths about, I'm really feeling you, you know, Capricorn, I'm really feeling you. And you're getting some good news here with the Page of Pentacles energy, all right? This has to do with long-term, family, some kind of good news for the long-term, let's see. There's a shock and surprise about this because obviously you may work with this person with the money card energy coming out. And there is a lot of changes here for you guys here, or they're offering you money to even travel towards them. Because <laughs> this is what it says, a shock and surprise money for travel. And what is the pentacles, is, uh, 10 of pentacles can be money. And also the princess of pentacles is some kind of offer, some kind of tangible offer, right? And it's like this person, you're shocked and surprised, this person's like, hey, look, 
you're like, no, you know, I got to work, I got to do this, you know, I'm still doing with this thing. And it's like, they're like, you're shocked and surprised. They're like, well, I'll give you the money. You can travel towards me. That's fine. I'll give you the money for the travel. All right. So they really want to spend some time with you, right? So you're kind of like, all right, maybe I need to be some, uh, you know, I, I need to be single and available to pursue, or I need to isolate myself from the situation or you're dealing with a separation. There's a person that's very obsessed with you, okay? With you have the session card coming out, they have strong desires, strong obsessions, and you will have to make a decision on this Capricorn very soon, because this person's gonna force the issue. And why does that seem to be the case this week with all the signs? If we go down here, people and healing and new love and an opportunity and a power move that's being made, mm -hmm. you're trying to be patient, but they want something done fast, okay? So we see, I have a strong attraction. There's a new beginning, a fresh start. I want to spend intimate alone time with you. They're giving you some kind of gift to help heal the situation because of this competition or self-doubt, but you're concerned about something transactional or being used, okay? We see this potential passionate situation. I want to hold on to you. Something is going fast and you're just shocked and surprised about the sense of confusion and the strong chemistry and passion and the sense this person really is serious about this connection with the four of wands energy. Or they want to move closer to you or there's something to do with coming to their house with the four of wands energy. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna look at and see what else you need to know for this week, Capricorn. So what else does Capricorn need to know or maybe may be aware of for this week of the November 8th to the 14th that could help them with their situation? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see Capricorn. All right, so it definitely looks like you are getting attention here. Um, and we see adventures talking about taking a risk. You see that there is this pathway here and you have more power than you realize. Spirit is saying just be in the moment and be happy and just be in the wonder of this situation and be open. Um, there's going to be time, lots of time to relax, go with the flow, and we see that there is some kind of travel or seeing the bigger picture. Be pure in your intentions, okay, and you're going to see some miracles come in, guys. Speak your truth about what you want. All right, my beautiful Capricorns, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way and you found this reading helpful, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days.